We humans have been on this earth for a very long time. We weren't smart enough to record when we set foot on this earth, but we have many other ways to find out when and how we were. Today we'll discuss evolution and how we came to be what we are right now. Grab some snacks as we jump right into the video. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Let's get started. We're actually more closely related to the animals that we share this earth with than you think. For example, these macaque monkeys are very similar to us in their physical attributes. The eyes are almost the same, and so is almost 70% of the body structure. Now, I'm not calling you a monkey, and I hope you don't take it that way. But primates like these and us humans are the only animals that have opposable thumbs. And raccoons. But they're not primates, and that's a whole other story, and we'll talk about that another time. Other than that, we share about 93% of our DNA with these angry little buggers. Now, orangutans are also primates that share a huge load of DNA with us. Although they're not as closely related to us as the macaque monkeys, these guys are really intelligent. I mean, take a look at this guy. He's actually driving a golf cart all by himself. He even knows where to go and how he should stay on the track and not veer off. Not gonna lie, this monkey probably has a better lifestyle than I do. Going golfing and stuff and getting free meals. Up next, we have our gorillas. These guys, believe it or not, also share a lot of DNA with us humans. We're practically like long lost cousins of some sort if our cousins were gigantic, muscle-bound furballs of death. After all, we share 98% of our DNA with them. The only thing is we lost the body hair and the muscles, but these guys kept them. These gorillas are so smart that some of them, after a bit of training, of course, learned to speak and understand sign language, like this one. Kinda scary, but amazing as well. Gorillas like this and the famous Coco, God rest her soul, are truly one of a kind and show us how similar we are to them. Now these guys, these guys are actually pretty scary close to us. Chimpanzees, like the previous ones I've mentioned, do share the same family tree branch with us humans. We all reside in the structure of the family hominidae. Also, scarily enough, these chimps share 99% of our DNA. Imagine that for a second. We are genetically the same as these crazy buffoons. It would not come to me as a surprise if one of these guys started talking one day. You know? If you know, you know. Chimps are crazy smart nowadays, and especially the pets that people keep at their places. These guys learn so quickly. I mean, take this video as an example. When have you ever heard that a chimp can make coffee? Well, this one can, and I like mine regular, with four sugars and some almond milk. Get it right, Diddy. And he does it very flawlessly. This little guy is making full use of his opposable thumbs. He does look pretty cute in those pajamas though, not gonna lie. As articulated in a famous section in Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, the tree of life, or universal tree of life, is a metaphor, model, and study tool used to examine the evolution of life and depict the links between living and extinct animals. Tree diagrams were first used to show genealogical ties in the Middle Ages. In the evolutionary sense, phylogenetic tree diagrams date from the mid-19th century and contain every species and their predecessors that we know until now. One way or another, we humans are related to many other animals as well. Every animal has evolved to what they are now over the course of a million years. This is the evolution of the modern-day elephant as you know it. Some of these images are very hard to swallow as I can't believe what they used to look like before and what they are now. But one thing for sure, animals sure looked very, very creepy back then. Ooh, as if it were no rules on how to look. The most unbelievable evolution that I personally believe belongs to the whales. Look at these guys. They used to be rodents, man. The Pachycetus, which lived around 50 to 60 million years ago, was only six feet long. After taking to the water and loving life in there, it's evolved into the modern day whales that we know about, which are born around 20 to 26 feet long. The blue whale is and always was the biggest creature known to man. And just look at its humble beginnings. Now, what about us humans? Well, we were divided into many species as well, and today we branched down from just one of them, the Homo sapiens. You had your Neanderthals, the Homo erectus, the Denisovans, the Homo floresiensis, also known as hobbits, the Homo naledi, and finally, us, the Homo sapiens. 
I wonder if there are any still alive to this day, but are just hiding, and we haven't found our brothers. We humans have walked this earth for longer than you know, and we have spread like wildfire. People descended from ape-like predecessors via a long period of transformation known as human evolution. Scientific data suggests that the physical and behavioral characteristics common by all humans developed over a six million year period from ape-like ancestors. So it's safe to say that we humans are also primates. We just got smarter than the rest of them. Charles Darwin, whose scientific theory of evolution through natural selection created the cornerstone of contemporary evolutionary research, was an English scientist whose full name was Charles Robert Darwin. This guy rocked one of the craziest beards and gave us the most scientific way of discovering ourselves and learning about our origins, who we are, and where we came from. His theory has, from then on out, been known as Darwinism. Darwinism is a biological evolution hypothesis proposed by Charles Darwin and others which states that all species of organisms begin and grow via natural selection of minute inherited differences that improve the individual's capacity to compete, live, and reproduce. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Do smash that like button if this video was to your liking. Comment down below what you think about this theory of evolution. Subscribe to our channel if this is the sort of video that you'd like to watch, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.